Coach Greg McDermott. We will have him start with an opening statement. Then we'll take questions. Uh, you know, kudos to Xavier. Uh, you know, they, I thought they played really well. I thought Scruggs was outstanding. And, you know, we went into the game trying to figure out a way to slow Scruggs and Fremantle, and we didn't really do a good job. And, uh, you know, when we tried to provide some help, I thought Odom and Kunkel uh, really hurt us. So, uh, you know, disappointing uh, that uh, we, we couldn't find a way to get it done. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've got to learn from it. We've got to get ready for the next ones. We've got a tough one on, on Wednesday. All right, we'll take questions for Coach. If you have a question, use the raise hand feature. Go to Matt. Matt, you're muted. Matt, you're muted. Uh, oh, hold oh. on. Muted. That lights on. That mute lights on. What's that? Hold on. Yeah, the mute lights on. There we go. Okay, now now try it again, Matt. Good. Better. You know, we overhelped off Scruggs a couple times, uh, and I, I think his three-point shots were a result. Uh, I think two of the three were overhelp situations. And, uh, you know, then he got to his kill spot a lot. You know, he got in the middle of the lane, he, he set his feet, uh, you know, and ha hit a fair amount of, of mid-range shots. So, and then, you know, I thought Fremont was just physical and did a good job. I thought we kept him off the boards for the most part. But, uh, you know, two good players, and they really stepped up today. John? Yeah, I mean Odom. Odom made some some tough plays. You know, he's not a great three point shooter. Uh, you know, he hit. Uh, I think he hit one late there, or maybe it was a long two. But uh, you know, he got up there and he, he's physical when he gets to the rim. And and I thought you know Scruggs finished some stuff at the rim as well. Uh, but you know, our our we're trying to make him shoot uh, mid range shots, and uh, they just got probably a dribble or two too deep against our defense this afternoon. All right, we're going to Matt. Did you uh, uh, see anything from Xavier in terms of why they were able to uh, just knock Denzel, Christian, and Mitch kind of off, the, off their rhythm for maybe that first 30 minutes or so? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought Denzel had some decent looks uh, and, and missed them. And I thought at times we were a little bit rushed offensively. Uh, you know, tried to, you know, maybe break down the defense with the dribble a little too, too early in the possession. Um, and, uh, you know, that's uh, – we got to be better. And, you know, at, at times I thought our offense was really good and it moved, and at times I thought we got stuck. Uh, but, uh, you know, Xavier had a good plan. Uh, they, they plugged things up on Christian a little bit. I thought Ryan came in and did a good job, uh, you know, when Christian had some foul trouble. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we got beat by a team that played really well. Got time for about two or three more questions. We'll go to John. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought our preparation was really good, and you know, that's kind of how I gauge: how, are you ready to play? Do you practice the right way? And I, I felt like our guys uh, practiced the right way. I thought there was a lot of energy, a lot of focus. I thought we understood what we needed to do, uh, and probably were good enough defensively. The first half uh, had our offense been a little bit better, we made some free throws, uh, and then the second half, you know, we just weren't very good defensively. And uh, you know, we've we've been pretty good during the course of the year, and this afternoon we weren't. Any final questions for Coach? Thank you. We'll go to, we'll go to Matt. One, one last question. Yep. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this goes along the lines of the questions John asked. I think, you know, just going back to the memory of previous um, shortcomings on the road, it seems like the, keeping those 
those drivers kind of out of that mid-range area from a playmaking standpoint has been the key to some of your better defensive performances this season. Um, and I guess, how do you, um, like, key in on that as a way to not allow teams to get going offensively and let other guys like, um, you know, Odom and Jones hurt you? Yeah, I mean, we haven't had many shortcomings on the road this year, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. Uh, but, uh, you know, they... They, they got downhill on us a little bit tonight. And, you know, some I, I don't think it's, uh, uh, you know, Odom doesn't shoot it, so we were trying to use his, you know, his man was had some ball screen coverage responsibility. Um, and he did a really good job of getting downhill uh, when we helped off of him and making some, you know, at times we met him at the rim with a pretty good vertical wall, and he still found a way to, to finish over top of us. So, uh, you know, I, I don't want to judge too quickly till I watch the film because sometimes what I think and what I see on film are two very different things when I go back through it um, but you know it, it uh, you know we just uh, we just didn't quite have it on both ends tonight and I don't think we were that far away um, and you know our problems are certainly fixable and that's what we'll do in practice the next couple days all right thank you coach well, thank you Jefferson here thank you do you need a phone or uh, I don't have my phone all right we've got Creighton senior forward Damian Jefferson again if you've got a question use the raise hand feature and we'll get you called on. We'll have Damien here for about five or six minutes. We'll start with Matt. Hey, DJ, I don't know. Uh, this is kind of along the lines of what I just asked Matt, but I guess um, how crucial is it for your defense, just the way it's designed, the way you, what you guys want to take away from teams, to keep them, their primary playmakers, out of the paint and not let them kind of get into, um, let them get other guys into a rhythm by penetrating your defense and kicking out? Uh, I feel like it's very crucial. Like you said, when they get downhill, they kind of get everybody else open. And so we know the game plan was keep keep them out of the paint. And uh, I feel like the whole game that they controlled the paint and they did a great job of finding their shooters when we collapsed in and kept them out the paint. So they did a good job of that. John? Probably knew going in, Damian and these guys were going to be hungry and they were going to be Uh, yeah, I do. I feel like they played like they was hungry. And uh, they had their backs against the wall that they knew coming into the game that they had to win this one. They were, and it was on their senior night. So they played like they was hungry. And uh, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't execute the way Coach wanted us to execute. And that just, that, that, you see the results. Matt? You guys did make some plays there. Maybe in that eight to four minute range to kind of cut it to a one possession game. Um, what did you see out there in terms of why Xavier was able to you know, stuck on the gas one more time and finish the game off and um, stop you guys from closing the gap. Uh, I feel like they just, we didn't, we didn't, I feel like on top of that, we didn't make shots. And, um, and they did a good job of executing at what they coaches wanted them to do offensively. And uh, uh, I feel like the coaches gave us a good, great, a great game plan, but I feel like we didn't follow it as a collective unit. And uh, it showed tonight, man. It showed. John? Uh, that's very hard, man. Like you said, like when they control the whole game, and then we we try to find some juice late at the end, but um, they already got it rolling. So it's hard, man. It's hard trying to find some juice when the team already got it going. But uh, um, I feel like it shouldn't have got to that point, and uh, we just got we gotta we gotta watch what happens when film and uh, try to fix it and get ready for a really really good Villanova team on Wednesday. All right. Any final questions for Damian? All right, we'll go to John for our final question. I don't know, this might be dumb, Damian, but like they, they have fans in the building, and I don't know how many road. I mean, I know Kansas. I, I, I try to remember how many road games you guys have played with fans. What did you? Did that? I mean, I don't know. Did it impact you? Did you feel like it impacted them? What did you think about? Them? Uh, I, feel, I feel like they definitely fed off their fans because they was loud, even though it wasn't that many in there, but. Uh, on top of that, I don't feel like it affected us because uh, we basketball players, we've been playing with fans our whole life, so I'm not going to say that affected us. But uh, I, tip off, I tip my hat off to them. They, they did what they had to do, and they, they played hungry, and they, they got the win. All right. Thank you, guys.